Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are making a classic Italian American dish, chicken marsala. I just started making this dish within the last year or so. And I gotta tell you, it's one of my favorites. It's easy to make. Uh, my husband kept telling me to learn how to make it. He wanted me to make a different chicken dish. So here it is. Chicken marsala is a classic Italian American dish made with lightly pan fried chicken cutlets and a rich savory sauce made of marsala wine, mushrooms, and garlic. It sounds really fancy, but it's really easy to make. It's the perfect dinner for a weeknight, weekend, and the best part about it is quick and easy. So you're gonna need about four cloves of garlic, and I also have some button mushrooms with some baby portobello mushrooms. I'm just slicing up my mushrooms. You're also gonna need one large onion and we'll just slice up our onion and put that to the side as well. A lot of recipes tell you to use chicken breast, thinly sliced chicken breast. Here I'm actually using boneless chicken thighs. I prefer the chicken thighs. So now I'm just seasoning my chicken on both sides with a little salt and pepper, as well as some garlic powder, and I'm using a little bit of Lowry's seasoned salt. So now we're gonna dredge the chicken in some flour. I season my flour a little bit with the same seasonings, a little salt and pepper and some garlic powder. And we're gonna shake off any of the excess flour from the chicken. This step helps create a nice crust when we sear the chicken. I use about two to three tablespoons of olive oil and about one to two tablespoons of butter in a large skillet over medium heat. Once I let the pan heat up, I added my chicken and I'm gonna just cook it for about three to four minutes. So here I've cooked the chicken about three to four minutes on each side until it's nice and golden brown. So now I'm just removing my chicken, setting it to the side so I can start to saute my mushrooms and my onions and my garlic. So now I'm just adding my mushrooms to the same pan that I took my chicken out of. I just wiped it out lightly with a paper towel, add a little more olive oil and just adding all my mushrooms. I'm gonna let that cook for about five minutes. I want the mushrooms to cook down to release any of that water, that liquid that's in the mushroom. Right, so it looked like a lot of mushrooms. So keep that in mind. If you wanna use mushrooms, they're gonna cook down, so. So now that I let my mushrooms cook down, I saw the, sauteed them for about five to seven minutes until they're golden and tender. Now I'm adding in my onions. I'm gonna give that a turn and let that cook for another two to three minutes before I add my garlic. So now I'm adding my garlic. You only want your garlic to cook for about 30 seconds. Once you start to smell the aroma of the garlic, then you can start to add your liquid. So just keep that in mind. Garlic is always the last ingredient to add if you're sauteing your vegetables. You never wanna add your garlic with the rest of your vegetables. You always wanna add it last. So now we pour in the masala wine. We're gonna scrape up any brown bits from the bottom of the pan. We let that simmer for about two minutes to reduce it slightly. Then we'll add our chicken stock and let it reduce for another five minutes or so. So I was visiting a friend. Um, so I was out of town at her house for about two weeks. So I was just cooking different stuff. So I made this dish for her and she loved it. So I will tell you guys, just a note, if you're gonna use the Marsala wine, if you're making this recipe, I highly suggest that you use Marsala wine that you can drink. Uh, in the store, the store I went to in her neighborhood didn't have the Marsala wine. So I used, in this, this video, I used the cooking wine, the cooking Marsala wine. The dish tastes really good, she loved it. But I'm telling you, if you get the Marsala wine from the actual 
uh, liquor store, <laughs> it's gonna be so much better. And this was good with cooking Marcello, but just a rule of thumb, whenever you wanna make like a wine sauce, you wanna use a wine that you would drink. And this was actually the first time that I used a cooking wine, so. So now we're gonna add the chicken back to the skillet, spooning some of the sauce over the top. And we just let that cook for another five to 10 minutes. And again, this is why we use thin pieces of chicken. And just like that, our chicken marsala is ready. So you can serve this with um, potatoes, mashed potatoes or pasta or over some rice. I'm actually serving mine over some egg noodles, but it's a quick dish that tastes great and just gives you a different option than just a regular chicken dish. If you have any questions about this video or this recipe, let me know in the comments below. You can find this full recipe on my website, Sweetness Society Store. There'll be a link in the description box. If you like this recipe, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on another delicious recipe. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.